Welcome back to Love Where You Live with Mint Construction. I'm Kate. And I'm Matt. And today we're in our personal home where we're doing a mini series of the renovations that we are doing to our 1933 Colonial Revival home. The previous family used this walk-up attic as just storage space. And talking with the people that sold it to us, they actually always wanted to turn it into living space but never got around to it. We saw it as an opportunity to make a nice master suite. It's a lot of stairs to get up here, but the view's amazing, so it's kind of worth it. It'll keep us young, hiking up three sets of stairs every day. This is our bedroom side over here, and the walls that we've built are really catered to our bedroom. The height of them is based off of our furniture. Over here, we base the height of that wall off of how tall our headboard for the bed is. Over here, it's based off of how tall our dresser and the TV is. We could have gained more floor space by pushing them back further, but it would make less functional space. So we actually made them taller and pulled them in. Should be a really good layout, still with a lot of space in it. We've got a nice brick wall over here that we're planning to leave exposed just for some character. Arched windows that we really love. We're gonna to try to fix them up, paint them, and get them functional. They've seen better days, but hopefully we can keep them. And behind us is our built-in closet area that we're making. And one of the really cool things is that we plan on arching the little entryway into the bathroom to match the other arches of the house. This is gonna be our master bathroom. Over here, we've got an oversized shower. It's gonna be six foot by four foot. It's the biggest shower that I've ever had. So looking forward to that a lot. Uh, and then on the other side of the shower is gonna be a freestanding tub. We won't leave the brick exposed in here. That's where the vanity's gonna go. This one's gonna be a functional closet where you can hang clothes. And then back in this alcove, will be where the toilet goes. One of the challenges about new framing in an old build has been we're making our walls nice and square and plumb, but then we're trying to work around things that are out of plumb, out of level around us. One really good example is this is gonna be the niche of the shower. We'll have a ledge here where we can put all our shampoo and stuff. And this comes up and is nice and level, but then the ceiling of the house is not. So there's a point right here where we're trying to decide when all that tile comes up nice and straight and level, do we leave the rafters out of level like they are currently and you know taper the tile and just call it character in an old home or do we try to go through and pad down the rafters of the old home and make it level? That's something that we're still trying to work through. It's all those little details that most people don't actually see or understand that what makes a build good. This is my favorite marble ever. I saw it online and I ordered it and then when it arrived I just like carry it around the house with me and it's so soft I kept like rubbing my face on it. So the plan is everything, the little ledge, the wall, and then the floor is going to be this really veined marble and then up above is going to be this white-ish gray tile. Another big important part of having a large shower was the fact that we wanted to be able to have two shower heads and jets and things like that so that's one of the reasons the shower is being made so big is so basically we can have two sets of everything in here. I'm looking forward to having this space finished up here when I mean, everything will be nice and clean, tidy, flat, square. We're even planning on doing a heated floor in here, which it's really hard to picture at this stage, walking in barefoot onto a nice warm flat tile floor when everything is kind of, you know, wavy and, and sloped and out of level in the house. I'm just looking forward to the house being done and we can actually be living here. Thanks for joining us on Love Where You Live with Mint Construction. Join us next time and see what kind of progress we make on this master suite.